what are we doing? You know, you know what would be good in a classroom? Like some light. Some light would be good, right? Let's let's add some lights. Um, lighting. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we don't have any viscera, so that's a problem. <laughs> How do we get viscera? <laughs> Metal deposits out there. There were some animals that were uh, kicking around uh, when we first started out. I think. Oh, there's one. A dire rat. Let's hunt that. Are there more rats? Get some more viscera. Yeah, there's another one. Hunt that rat. Uh, there we go. Get some. Get some viscera. Apparently, we're using Viscera to make our uh, wall-mounted torches. I don't know how that's supposed to work, but here we go. I guess we can also mine some of the metal. Seems like it might come in handy. Oh, there's another rat. How did... There we go. All right, let's... Uh... Trials and medallions, what's that about? Students enter the school with various trials, which are feats they can perform to unlock extra magical potential. Each student's trials are unique to them. The students with higher tier wands will have more and harder trials. And I think we saw in the like the uh, tech tree, <laughs> the research tree, that uh, there were higher level wands I think we can unlock later. So students who complete a trial earn a medallion granting them a myriad of helpful enhancements. Harder trials grant better medallions. Earning any medallion also grants a death save. Uh, only students can complete trials. If hired as staff, a mage's uncompleted trials permanently lock, and the respective medallion can no longer be earned. So if we look at a uh, student here, Alexandra, how is the mana getting drained? Mana drains. Have their mana absorbed by void shroom. So we gotta find where those void shroom are. So that's about uh, trials and medallions. There we go. Eat in a mess hall, common room, or house commons ten times. We'll earn low sister bedrooms bronze medallion. A wisdom group learner cast at a learning stone twenty five times in a basic or intermediate classroom with at least six students present. Okay. Uh, go two days without ever getting very tired. Okay, so there are some trials that uh, this student can do, and, huh, get some, some bonuses, right? Boost the power and mana. Okie dokie. So where is this uh, void stream thing that we, we keep on seeing that people are getting their mana drained? There's some sinew and a carcass and viscera. What does the void shroom look like? This founder's grave. Some smoke reed. Guess we'll harvest that while we're at it. Hey, Death Row Gamer. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? <laughs> Bow chicka, wow, wow. Yeah, welcome in. It's nice to see you here. <laughs> I saw you there before over on your channel, but uh, gonna come lurk while you play stuff. Hey, I I do that all the time. That's that's my weekend, right? Uh, when when I'm well. Yeah, basically whenever I'm not streaming, I'm, I'm lurking on other pe people's channels and doing stuff, either uh, uh, doing some video editing. All right, I'll hydrate. Thank you, Alex. I got a new water glass. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> Using up those channel points. Has anyone spotted anything that could be a, what was it, like a void shroom? It's something that is draining their mana, a void shroom. Grows in dark rooms. Oh, it's a thing inside. Are we growing mushrooms inside here somewhere? 
Is that what's going on? We do need some lights then, if that's so. Where is it? Oh, you never seen this game? Yeah, it's, um, I think, hold on, let, let's check really quick. I was looking the other day and there was like one person worldwide streaming this game. And it, oh yeah, it's, it's me. I am the number one streamer of this game on Twitch. <laughs> but uh, Brainless, uh, Brainless Society, uh, <laughs> right? Uh, was uh, saying we should play this, right? So uh, it is it is a game published by Clay, who is the, the, the publisher uh, of the, the game we used to be playing on, on Friday, Oxygen included. Uh, and, and there's some similarities in, in the game, although it's not based in space. I mean, I don't know, this could be on some planet somewhere. But it's all in space. We're in space, but yeah, anyway. I don't know where these, uh, I mean, being on top of some, somewhere is always good. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. I don't know where these void shrooms are. It says they grow in dark rooms. Maybe it's a thing that's not shown? I don't know. Ooh, or maybe they spawn and then the, you know, the staff or the students encounter them and they like shrivel up or something and they go away. So uh, let's see if we can just add some lights. It seems like maybe we just need to add some lights. Um, maybe like here. I don't have any, uh, okay. Well, we got some lights for the classroom. Maybe that'll be good. And then they go building it. Uh, I need the confidence you have. I, uh, I want pink highlights in my hair, but it's gonna take some confidence. Well, it was darker red. The problem is it just fades, right? So, um, you know, my natural hair color is like a, you know, a brownish, right? And I have to have it lightened. So it goes like, like very pale blondes, uh, and then the dye is added. So the pink just happens from <laughs> the, the dye washing out. But, uh, yeah, it's something different. <laughs> yeah. I would prefer, like, if I if I could have it my way, where the, the dye wouldn't just wear out, uh, it would be a much, you know, it would be a vibrant red, like my, the, the redder parts of my shirt. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, red and blue are complimentary. Uh, class ends, no teacher, okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I really, need, I really need to make a like an animated version of that emote. <laughs> uh, of my heart emote. But uh, it's, it's a challenge to do myself, and I kind of want to do it myself, but it's gonna be a while before I get there. What are you doing there, Arcane Secretary? Oh yeah, so this is where we're doing the research. Right, and what does the Book of Rituals do? Open Book of Rituals. Okay, so this is telling us about what we can do, right? We can have the mana font. And we can repel fog. It's superior. Do we need more gut berries? Maybe we should build more uh, gut berry planters then. Or just like some more harvesting. Oh, hey, learn about lighting and void shrooms. Okay, without torches or other light sources, the rooms will be dark, uninviting, and pro prone to void shroom infestations. When fully grown, void shrooms drain mana from nearby mages. Staff can use nature to harvest them for void cap. Our room sliding is determined by placing windows, torches. Oh, windows. Can we make windows? <laughs> the lighting view provides a quick way to see the lighting, how the lighting is affecting rooms. Okay, so there is a lighting view. That's this one. So this is properly lit. Oh, except, no, it's 17% lit. Void Shroom will spawn in 22 hours. It's 16 minutes. Okay, it's dimly lit. It's dimly lit, okay. 
Can we build windows? Furniture. So now we can make a mana lantern. A lantern that houses a mana crystal, focusing its light to restore mana. It needs a charge to function. Okay, we don't we don't have a mana crystal. I don't know how to get that. <laughs> Mini hearts. Uh, are there windows? So we have doors, and stairs, and floors and roofs. A uh, hallway, a hallway opening that allows passage through walls. We could have more of those. Um, I'm guessing it's something that shows up in construction and maybe we just haven't unlocked it yet. But we just did complete <laughs> um, a research. Maybe we can look at another research. Okay, we know about research. We know about conviction. And I think we know about crafting uh, room keywords. So this is like elevated. No adjacent rooms or foundation below. These rooms must have open air below them. Okay. So do those give like bonuses for being elevated? Grounded. Towered. No adjacent rooms to the left, right, or above. Pull these on the top of the school. Lofted. Taller than it is wide. Private. Only one point of entry. Isolated. No points of entry. It is all it is often necessary to seal mages inside of these difficult to build rooms. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay, interesting. Cool stuff. Uh, where, where, how do we get back to research? Uh, there it is. All right, so we just completed Shine On. Uh, I think Brainless wanted us to focus on things that would get us down to being able to grow some of these plants. If we're gonna do that, we could do uh, Light My Fire. A floor torch adds light. It needs phoenix flowers. It doesn't need viscera anymore, though. Thank you, Foxy. It was Foxy, right? It's got to be Foxy. Yeah, there you go. Foxy Blue played Minecraft Creeper. I'm not even playing. It's the wrong game. Thank you for the bets. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> for old times. I mean it ah uh, yeah. It's good. It's good. Thank you for the bits. Uh alright, or critical care. We don't have anyone injured yet. Maybe we just won't have anyone injured. There you go. Alright, light my fire fire. I'm gonna I'm gonna set that as the research. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Rainless. Uh although this doesn't really get us towards the plants. Maybe we can just keep on hunting um, uh, animals and build some more light that way. Unless, unless it's easy to get windows. There's a dining table. Or, uh, let's see, tree planter, arch support. Okay. Um, dancing the night away. Uh huh. Basic rituals. Okay. Oh, there's a small rectangular window and a plain bed. So if I do that, okay, we, we can only research one thing at a time. Hmm. I think I'm gonna continue down uh, this path to get um, some of these things. I've already I've already invested in this. I might as well keep going. It's probably not optimal, but that's okay. Let's keep hunting uh, these dire rats, huh? Oh yeah, there you go. Multi select. We. Um, Fog advancing, oh no. Still don't have enough stuff. We don't have enough gut berries to do the superior repel fog, so we'll just do this one. Let's get going on that. Let's also um, build more of these gut berry planters. It seems like we, we have really a lack of gut berries, so maybe we should uh, grow more. Okay.
All right, we're harvesting uh, some metal over here. You, you re recommend not placing the front one? Yeah, I was kind of curious about kind of access. This one right here. Let's cancel that. I'll take your word for it. I'm guessing that may cause problems with, uh... oh, there we go. We, we pushed it back. Mana drained. Oh, here we go. Here's a void shroom. Are we, so we are auto harvesting these then? Yeah, look at that. Uh, it might be already in this case, but if you place another, it will 100% block. Okay. Yeah, it seemed like it didn't want me to anyway. Um, I think there was something about shade or something. Here, let's see what that message was again. Like here, it was something about, oh, well, it's, it's blocked, uh, blocked by the tree. Um, blocked by, oh, sunshade tree. There you go. Yep. That's fine. Um, so void shrooms, what do they do? Trains 30 mana. Uh-huh, they're, what are they used for? Anything? I mean, we're harvesting them. I guess that they, they must be useful for something later. Uh, Alexandra completed sleep focuser bronze trial. They are used later, okay. Uh, go two days without ever getting very tired. Okay, so we, we didn't push our student that hard, and so they were not very tired. Um, and that means the student gets boosted power, mana, and HP. Plus two power, plus 10 HP, plus 10 max mana. Okay, well that was easy. Didn't really do anything. What's going on? Oh, I see. This is training mana. Someone should really uh, harvest those plants then, huh? Rain incoming. They're a hauling. <laughs> They're a haul, okay. Uh, you can right click it. task hunt yep got it how do you feel about the rain <laughs> you hate the rain uh, I mean they're not running away like they're gonna melt so it's fine I usually set them all to haul. So do you mean by going into priority and increasing the haul priority or something else? Schedule, priority consume, groups. Okay, there are groups, that's good to know. Log, there's a game log, interesting. Yeah, you can click the icon below the name of the priority. Set priority for all. Uh, for all to haul. Okay, cool. Yeah, groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously you start and the game knows. There's students and there's staff, right? So rule status has staff, has student. Oh, add custom group. Wait, 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 wait. 
So you're saying I can add a rule, faction, human, <laughs> humans that um, have low conviction, <laughs> although it says sanity here, that's interesting. Uh, there aren't any. Okay. So does my new group up? Sh my new group show up elsewhere? <laughs> you can see, use that group in the schedule or consumables. Okay. Add custom. Oh, right. And then <gasps> new group. Okay. Okay. And then it's dynamic, right? <laughs> like who's in the group? Uh, Alex says, I'm gonna try to get my rank back on Rocket League, but I'll have you running in the background. Oh, hey, thanks for uh, keeping a tab open. <laughs> Good luck with Rocket League. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually seen any Rocket League. I've never played it myself, but I recall it looking fun. All right, we don't need that custom group right now. I'm just kind of curious about how that works. Could be cool when I learn more about the game. Priority is higher top to bottom. Okay, priority is higher. And priority is higher top to bottom. What does that mean on, on schedule? Ah. Oh, right, right, right. So if you have, okay. So if you have someone who fits multiple schedules, it picks the first schedule that contains the person. Okay, that makes sense. I'm pretty sure that's what you mean. Correct. Oh, I'm out of water. I mean, I really like the little glass, but it is a little glass. I'll have to move the, the pitcher over here. Oh goody, I... <laughs> Uh, you are having a tiny allergy reaction. I, I, <laughs> I hope that uh, it, it stays tiny. <laughs> I have been fortunate not to have any kind of allergy problems of any kind ever, so uh, it's not something I have experience with, but seem like seems like that's generally no fun. Rocket League takes time and patience to get good as all really fun things do, I think. <laughs> all right, so there's some, some stuff out here we can see now. Ooh, foggy crystal, honey drop bush. Skill level, all right. So it looks like uh, our student learned another skill somehow. Foxy's gonna be lurking and we'll be back. Sounds good. Um, so gut berries. How many gut berries do we have? Plant parts. Oh, there's the void caps that we've been collecting. Gut berries nine. All right. Foggy crystals used to be OP, but they never. Of course they did. <laughs> uh, so oh no, now we don't have enough wood. Okay, so we have enough gut berries now to do the the more advanced uh, pushing of fog. But I guess we don't have enough uh, wood, so let's gather some wood up. Um, I mean, it's not raining anymore, so maybe I'll put the priority back. And let's also unpause. Here we go. Loves hauling. Gains five conviction for four hours after a haul task. Okay, so I'll make you prefer hauling. And then someone likes charging uh, Ragavast. So I'll increase the priority there. I'm sure I won't come to regret that and that will be fine. <laughs> All right, can we, can we do this thing? Yes, superior repel fog. One important notice about priorities, that red arrow priorities, like panic priorities are like critical. Uh, they won't do anything else but that. Okay, that's that's good. 
to know because I'm pretty sure I set all to be that. Does that mean even if there's nothing to do, they'll still try to haul? And if there's no hauling, they'll just do nothing? Is that what that means? It's what it sounds like. That that would be suboptimal. Student needs a teacher. Well, we pulled all the teachers off to do this ritual, so student will have to just get by. Without a teacher, I guess. Alright, so what do we see here? Ooh, okay, yeah. So I was right. We can see, we can just keep scrolling. There's more stuff. Alright, so can we just like... Uh, right click back, hold control, left click, hold, uh, mark for gather. Is there... Well, I thought there was a... Yeah, there we go. Can we do that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Harvest. And mine and chop and hunt. There. No, if there's no hauling, they will do other tasks. But if there is, and they need to eat or sleep, they will do hauling. Okay. Wait, so is, is eating and sleeping and stuff also priority? Yeah, medical rest, teach, aid, beast care, charge, cook, assemble, construct once, harvest, ten, destroy, chop... Uh, clean, carve, huh. Removes the interest status from characters in this, just potions. Okay. Uh, let's have the teachers all prioritize teaching. There we go. Uh... That is new to me, was just added. No, not already, but it's like, red alert. Okay, okay. Fog advancing? Ah, that's fine. Just to hear, right? Ooh, what's this? Crow a nest? Interesting. Crystal cone tree? Uh, I guess I didn't look at the, the other side. What do we see over here? Some trees over there. We got some uh, Mendrix. Crow nest. We have some foggy crystal metal deposits. Um, I feel like right now we just need to like do more research. Although I wonder. Allowed all staff. Can we have multiple of these? And have multiple staff members that are... Because I think it's just like using magic points, right? So if we had multiple arcane secretaries, then we could do more research, right? We could do research faster. Or can multiple staff members work the single one? Can't have multiple, okay. I figured that was probably the case. Um, oh, it's under crafting, okay. Can we... That would be in the way. Uh, I could go there. There we go. Let's have two. Faster researching. Should we summon another suit? So, Alexandra here is a vivified student with a fire wand. Should we summon another student? So, the, the way that I'm interpreting this is that at some point we can convert students into staff members. Staff members are able to, maybe for the underground ritual. Oh yeah, right, right, right. Because um, Unlock Underschool needs uh, two staff and two students. And Phoenix Flowers, which we, I don't think we, we've gathered any of, but we could. There we go. That's a good point as well. So let's make uh, another wand. So we made a fire wand. 
Uh, I think we made it maybe because it just required wood. Maybe a nature wand? Earth? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. We could do an earth wand. Let's do an earth wand. Earth wand one. I trust you, Brainless. You, you know better than I do. So, I'm sure you wouldn't steer me wrong. Fully trained students. Alright. Every student has a natural limit to their magical ability. Once they have learned all that they can, they are considered fully trained and gain a gold star on their portrait. Fully trained students will no longer gain skill from going to, going to class, but they will still do their tasks and attend to their needs and make progress on trials. They may also still explore the underschool. Students may graduate any time with a ritual at the ritual sigil, which we've not unlocked yet, I think, uh, even if not fully trained. However, only fully trained students may be hired. Okay. Now is when groups might be useful for like students that are fully trained. Or something else. Correct. Okay, well, we can try that. So, if we did a uh, custom group, it would be like. Uh, looks like the game has paused, so that's nice. Fully trained students. So, what is membership? Is member student status? Ah, I guessed right. It is. <laughs> they don't benefit from class. Okay, that makes sense. So then we would be able to set a schedule for fully trained students, right? So we'd say add custom schedule. Fully trained students. Uh, they sleep and they eat and they do tasks. No class. Cool. It makes you wonder, though, where the game's gonna go. Like, it feels like we might need more of those things, right? But what for? I don't know. I don't think you are. <laughs> Uh, so we have more viscera now, so we should be able to do more lighting, right? Let's do some some wall lighting here. There. This was also kind of dim. This area is dim. It's all dim. Let's see if we can fix the dimness of the rooms. Seems like a good thing. Hey, uh, SPC Trap Ghost, welcome in. First time chatter, but of course I've I've uh, watched a stream or two of yours, so welcome to this channel. I like your uh, slidey hype emote. <laughs> How is it going? Going good. Welcome to, I think, still the number one uh, channel on Twitch playing this game, Mind Over Magic. It's number one because it's the only one <laughs> Having a great time. Friday night. Number one streamer in category. <laughs> Learning this game. So this is uh, Fog Advancing. Uh, do I care? Nah, we're not doing anything right here or near the fog over here. We'll let the fog advance a little bit. The fog is our nemesis. Hey, a win is a win, <laughs> right? All right, so did we make the, uh, can we see wands over here? We can't, so we made the earth wand. Let's go, uh, well, let's build, let's expand. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. So, I think we can't do walls. Yeah, we can only do walls like in this dimension, right? So we can't really do Is that true? 
wall, floor, roof, stair, door, spiral stair. That feels pretty lemoning. I guess what we could do is we could go further this way. How do you... Hmm. I guess what you do is you set up a hallway with stairs going up multiple levels and then doors on either side and then rooms on either side of that is what you do. And then you do the same thing repeated over because you can't have hallways going across the screen. Right, because there's no way to like put a wall across here and a door, right? That's not how the construction works. Sounds like a plan. I mean, I think that's <laughs> kind of what you have to do. Um, hmm. What does the normal stair look like? It goes, it goes this way, right? What I might do is maybe enact that over here. We go a little bit wider. Yeah. Can I do that? No, I have to use. Or wait, am I am I confined to just? Uh, that's that's not the right thing anyway. So I can't I can't even build that here, right? I'm I'm stuck in this area. I'm gonna have to redo things, aren't I? Okay. Okay. Look in the research tree. Yeah, I bet there's something to expand foundations, right? Uh. Basic rituals, furnishings. Yep. <laughs> Classroom essentials. Liven up the place. Up in the air. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So fancy. Uh, there's a search bar at the top. <laughs> Going places. Foundation. Permanent construction blocks that extend where you can build your school and support walls. Okay. Um, that That is a ways down. Uh, I think in the meantime, what am I going to do? I hmm. I think we're gonna have to do a little remodeling, a little remodeling here. Let's let's we don't need to pause the game. Um, maybe I will move the wall or build a new wall here. Yeah, yeah, sure, this is fine. Um. I mean, it feels like the spiral staircases are very compact, and that's kind of nice. Oh, what are you? Oh, it's a croa. Eat any food crops you are growing. When eating, they will be find a way by nearby staff or scarecroa. <laughs> Edible for wolfkin. Requires uh, fire skill one to hunt. My suggestion, move the spiral stair to the right of the wall. Yeah. Yeah, over here. I mean, that's an option. I guess. Hmm. Like, this feels like too much space for a bedroom. I don't know. Why wouldn't I just do private bedrooms, though? It seems like that's a good thing to have. Where's, is there a, there's a room type for there. There we go. No effects. Plus 50% because it's lofted. Learning rate. Ooh, we can change the, there we go. <laughs> nice. Um, does that mean we can change this over here? Nope. Private, nine luxury. Uh, plus 50% because it's a basic classroom. Okay, this is basic. Not because of the lots. Of Not an intermediate classroom because we need to have a bookshelf or a large bookshelf. Okay, cool. 
Uh, what does this say about the bedrooms? That's what I'm kind of thinking about right now. It's like, I want to have, we're going to have another student, right? And so instead of like getting the student and then figuring out where we're going to put them or just turning this into like a, uh, a shared uh, living situation, let's just expand, right? Um, okay, so it looks like we could add windows. But if I, so if I add the staircase, that adds another point of entry, right? Unless I get rid of the door. I could get rid of the door and add a staircase. Look at dormitory and also common room. Uh, oh, right, there's things on the right over here. Bedrooms, dormitory, plus five conviction. Austere is 2.5, right? So dormitory is better than this. For private quarters, we ha would have to have a fancier canopy bed, which we don't have, so that's not happening. Dormitory, dormitory it's private, um, but it has to have one or more windows, and we can't even make windows, so that's not really an option. What was the other one you said? Common room? Ba -ba -ba -ba. That is not a bedroom, not a workshop. It's a rec room, common room. Uh, so it has beds, dining tables, recreation furnishings, towered, 15 or greater luxury. Uh, must have one of, but it still has to have windows. But those are good, right? Um, okay. Hmm. So again, we're just gonna let the, the game run a little bit while I think about what I want to do here. I think I do want to move the uh, the staircase over there. Those should be goals, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it seems like a common room would be... I think both of them, like, either one of them sound like they were uh, feasible, given the right research, the same research. So it seems like common room would be more efficient to do. Uh, uh, servers are in minutes for, for Rocket League. You're in training and it's like, it's like uh, uh, warming up, all right. So could we, we have to do some, some restructuring here. There you go, good. So let's see here, if we build a spiral staircase, can we fit that? Here. No. Torch is in the way. Okay, so let's see. We can move the torch. Very handy. Would it be in the way anymore there? And then maybe we can move the cot. There you go. Seems fine. A venom nat appears in the chat. Alright, so can we build a spiral staircase now? Nope. That torch is still not in a good place. Let's move it. It'll be over there. Just like right by the door. Assigned bed unreachable. Oh, build copy is an option. That's nice. Um, okay, so that's not reachable anymore. This bed is blocking that bed. That makes sense. <laughs> Are they able to? Cool. Okay, so that's that's all good. I guess I could have moved this one. And then it would all be reachable. Uh, there we go. Alright, so... Spiral stair. Start with that. Now, does that, I mean, this counts as a point of entry, right? To this, and so that changes the quality of this room. Or no, a, a steer bedroom might not care about the number of entry points. It says it's private, only one point of entry. So maybe the spiral staircase does not count as a point of entry, although it should.
or maybe it's not maybe it's not built yet <laughs> let me let me uh, let me actually see it all get built and then we'll see I would assume yeah there you go now it's just a school room it's not private the bad of doing this is you might have issues on higher floor yeah uh, we'll see just tear it all down and redo it right uh, so what I was thinking of doing here is can we just build a wall here and here and then uh, doors there we go it's grounded private <laughs> it was isolated all right there we go so what is what is this room now it's just a school room two luxury grounded all right cool um Assigned bed unreachable. All right, that'll be fixed there in a second once they build that door. What is this icon here? Uh, being replaced. Okay. Let's go ahead and demolish some of the roof here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Seems fine. All right, all right. How much is the fog advancing? Ah, that's fine. Can we please get the door? Door not supported. Why not? Hey, thank you for the lurk. Appreciate it. Um, what does it mean? Door not supported. Is it because there's a door under it? Okay, cancel. All right, can we build a door? Hmm. Try canceling and doing it again. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And let's get a new roof. Or actually, let's get a floor. More spiral staircase. It's fine now. <laughs> Whatever it was. Alright, let's uh, get all the things, huh? <clears throat> so I assume our our background will come back once this area is enclosed again. Oh yeah, our student is sleeping outside. That's unfortunate. There we go. Uh, towered private. But still, it's austere, so it's plus two and a half conviction to sleepers. Click to dismiss. There we go. like something that someone could get off of and get here or is the axe let's let's um let's find out let's demolish that there we go nah. 
Uh, interesting. So floors. How do, how do they work? Why is there a hole here? Oh, because there's still a little bit of stair, isn't there? Get rid of that. There we go. Now there's not a hole anymore. All right. So unreachable objects. <laughs> this is not reachable. Okay. Why? Okay. I think. I think. Um, let's just kind of reset. <laughs> okay, they can get up here. Uh, all right, then wall. Let's kind of have a matching bit of wall there. And floor. There we go. So why? Why no exit there? Notice, yeah, and I see the wood railing, but what am I supposed to do about that? <laughs> Locked by serial. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Wait. Are spiral st staircases only to let you go from where they start to where they end? You can't go, go through intervening floors? That would be cool in a way, but very inconvenient. Also, rain is incoming as I've removed the roof and broken everything. You can. Okay. Well, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> oh, hey, look. Okay, so there is railing around here. What, what, what have I done wrong? Let's try... Stairs and ladders, there we go. The walls are blocking the path. Oh, so the walls are too close? Okay, okay. It needs two more spaces. Okay. So then I think I know what to do. Not in pause for one. <laughs> we're, we're gonna go here. Uh, that torch is in the way. Of course it is. Move that over there. Um, build copy. There we go. There we go. All the way up to here. Here. Yep. Build some wall over here. There we go. Uh, get that floor going. There we go. And then. Demolish. Mm, probably don't want to demolish the uh, this wall until I build the next one. Please move the torch. Please, please move the torch. There you go. All right. Wall, please. There we go. Uh, let's get a door. There we go. Now, tear down the old stuff, remove the filter. There we go. Also, let's get that little bit of stair and that little bit of stair. Okay. And then same thing 
over here. Good, good. Let's also get more spiral stair here. Up to there. Except we can't. Alright, we're gonna be taking a break here in a minute. <laughs> oh yeah, no roof. Let's fix that. Confirm. And uh, let's get that task priority up to five. This is fine. Poor faculty. <laughs> They're gonna have a lot of work, but hey, you know. We just gotta deal with it. This guy is, uh, how did you get up there? Now we should be able to build the rest of the spiral stair. No, it's blocked by this, which we're still working on disintegrating. <laughs> we got we got some like um, dependencies to, to resolve here to get to the next thing. Uh, also, we need to build a door, or we're going to be still not able to access that room. There we go. All right. So they're going to have some stuff to repair, but it's fine. Uh, let me snooze that ad. There we go, there we go. Be right, be right back. Yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm going to take a break here in a minute. I just need to see this a little bit through. At least getting the, the walls out of the way. Almost there. <laughs> uh, that doesn't really seem like anything was totally ruined. Fog advancing. That seems bad. Uh, no, there's still nothing that we were actively harvesting. We'll be able to push the fog back some more. Um... But there we go. So we got we got our bedrooms back. We'll have the classroom back here in a minute. It doesn't really matter. We don't even have any students that are uh, studying. Assigned bed unreachable. What do you mean? This bed? It's reachable, right? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna drop a save here. I'm gonna take a break for a couple minutes, and uh, when I come back, we're gonna figure out how to. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? I think we wanted to have some more accommodation for students. We might just throw our other student in with our existing one uh, at this point. But hey, we've expanded the school a little bit, and uh, we'll summon a student, see how that goes, and maybe we can unlock the. Uh...